Well, I came here around five years ago. I was invited by the, the government to come here and uh, look at a project. Um, and instantly when I arrived, I, I fell in love with the, you know, the sea here. It's so, so spectacular. Um, it has such a beautiful underwater environment that I felt really compelled to make a project. I think I was most interested working here because I've seen a, a lot of underwater places around the world and I think when people imagine the sea they often think of, of coral reefs and, and of big you know, pelagic creatures uh, but when I, when I came here I actually saw an underwater world that was you know, really beautiful, really pristine and, and uh, uh, you know, something that was, you know, hadn't been explored artistically. We looked at several different concepts for, for the islands um, and we you know, decided on, on a theme around uh, a mask and at first I, was, I wasn't sure how that would work out but um, it was actually quite interesting you know because it obviously relates to the performing arts of Cannes um, it also relates to the man with the iron mask and the story on the island uh, and I think it also relates to the sea because you know when we look at the sea it's almost like a mask where we don't really know what's underneath and, and I wanted to show that underneath this mask is it's an actually a, a very beautiful, beautiful and, and fragile space. I think there's many, many things, you know, very special about the islands. Um, you know, first of all, obviously the, the history, as soon as you arrive there, the, the smell of the, of the pine and, the, and just the, you know, the, the sense that you're stepping on in a, in a place with so much, you know, uh, history. Um, and the underwater area is, is really pristine. It's some of the, the best visibility I've seen in the Mediterranean. Uh, so it was really an ideal space. Uh, yesterday I, it was a huge sense of relief you know I've been working for I think over four years on this project uh, it's taken quite some time to do the environmental studies to, to choose the exact location to you know to develop the concepts of the sculptures and, and then to also make them and install them so it's been a really long process so there was a, a profound sense of, of relief that they're installed. For, for me one of the most special times was I actually uh, got to, to stay on the island uh, during the summer when I made the casts of all the different people um, and it felt like a real privilege because nobody else was staying there um, and it was a, a really special time for me and I, I really enjoyed it. Um, it's certainly the first uh, Covid friendly museum in France um, so it's one of the one places where you can go and, and be socially distant from everybody else um, and it's obviously for me one of the first projects that I've ever done in the Mediterranean so uh, it's a huge privilege. Yes, I, I mean, I hope to come back each year to see, you know, how the sculptures are, are evolving. Um, for me, this is just the beginning of the process. You know, as soon as I put them into the sea, that's when their, their lives begin. And they're, they're living, you know, evolving pieces of art. And I think each year they'll be different and, and each visit will be a new experience. I mean, all of my work is, is about... Uh, preserving our, our marine environments and and here in Cannes you're blessed with one of the most you know spectacular uh, seas and, and underwater worlds in the world so so for me it's really about protecting those spaces and to, to really thinking about them differently as not just you know uh, a place where we go fishing or a place where we take things from it's something that we also give back to um, and it's something that we should treasure and, and regard as a, as a sacred space